All right, we are live. Been a long time. Seems like, anyways, since it's been live. Drink check. <whistles> Mountain Dew, of course. All right, we got a couple boxes here. One is a couple weeks overdue. This bigger box over here is uh, more than a couple weeks overdue. And then got some uh, additional YouTube Cup entries. I'm uh, from John Homan. These are from John Homan for the YouTube Cup. And they are right here and right here. These are Dave Akers Customs right here. We got a Chevy Nova. The 41. Let me drop this down a little bit. Chevy Nova. This right here is Donald Blake. Not Reed Sorensen. This is Donald Blake driving the 41 Nova. They will attempt to qualify for Martinsville this week. Nice work by Dave, as always. And then we got the 77 here. The Charger. Very cool. Monster Energy sponsor as well as GoPro on the roof. Driver of this is Doc Savage. I don't know if he's related to the Macho Man Randy Savage. But nonetheless, a nice looking car by Dave Akers Customs. Like the looks of this one. As well as the Target one. Very cool. John Miller. Hey, I thought the Rams suck. What happened to the Falcons? <laughs> Matt Schaub with nearly 500 yards this last week. Very cool. What's going on, Tucker Taylor? Mad Dog, Matt Sports, what up? Okay, so those are John Homan's entries to the YouTube Cup for the remainder of the season, which they'll get to qualify for, uh, attempt to qualify for the, <laughs> they suck worse. <laughs> they'll get to attempt to qualify for the last six races of the season, which I need to get these in big time. But we'll be at Martinsville. I believe we'll be back at Bristol. We will have Daytona one more time. Uh, we'll have the Devil's Backbone. And then what other two? Uh, -de -de -de. Um, I was going to create a, a new course or a new track. And I'm not sure what's going on, Julius. Got to see Julius. If you haven't seen him, got his channel going on with an awesome track. Got to see him uh, with Aaron's uh, tour. What's going on, Fathom Darkness? Uh, no, not two short checks in a row. We'll do uh, Martinsville. And then, uh, not sure which one after that. Probably, oh, we got Miami. Miami, of course. Uh, Homestead, the last race of the season. Oh, it's Red Pill. Red Pill in the house. Yo, yo, yo. So we'll get that dialed in. We will have, a uh, yeah, The Rock. The Rock. So we will, uh, you know, I did not even see it. I have not seen anything in NASCAR in a minute. Been so busy with everything going on. I have not had a chance. I recorded the Roval race and I haven't even watched that. So I hope to go back and see uh, Talladega as well. Um, via YouTube or something like that. <laughs> Try to go back and watch uh, game five. I didn't even know what happened in game five. Uh, the World Series, and my wasn't playing on my DVR. I thought, what the heck is going on? And then I found out what happened. <laughs> yes, Julius got a great track. Yeah, I don't have a favorite driver anymore. It's been a long time. Um, you know, you could tell me now, and I'm probably going to forget about it anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, so two new rides. These are Dave Akers Customs cars. These are... 
John Homan, H-O-H-M-A-N. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Two entries. All right. Yeah, I think it's just to keep the the races a little bit more exciting. And I, you know, at first I thought this was kind of whack, but I do like them. All right. Wow, by seven one thousandths of a second. That's crazy. What's going on, LJ Tolito? All right, this one is from Dirty Deeb. I already know what this one is, and I haven't needed to open it because of uh, we did the All Star race last. But I know what's in here. All right, let's get this open. Well, I don't know where uh, Ricky Craven and Kurt Busch lie in 2003. Darlington. Oh, we were going to do Darlington, too. That's the other track I'm going to do. Duh. But, uh, yeah, our guy at food truck is lucky. I don't know where that race lies. Dude, this tape is on ridiculous. There we go. Let's rip the box, right? I don't know where that race lies, but that was one heck of a race. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. There's more in here than I thought. All right. This is from Dirty D. Right now we have the return. <laughs> oh, nice. Sweet. <laughs> if you ain't first, you're last. This is cool. All right. I already know what knew what to expect from one of these cars. Let's see. All right. That's going to be cool. We're going to see the return. We haven't seen him in a while because his car has been out of commission. But the Dirty Deeb Custom of the ILC car is back, folks. This car was doing pretty well until we had a little putty incident, but it looks to be in tip-top shape. Yes, sir. So it will attempt to qualify. Seems to be a pretty good roller. And you mod guys are getting good. Are you already good? You continue to get better. Look at that. This is from uh, Slap Out Oklahoma. <laughs> the ILC. This is Chapman Films right here. Racing for Dirty Deeb. All right, and this is this is one I didn't know anything about. Coming up right here, guys. This is pretty cool, and yeah, let me get it open first. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Oh man, this thing's a lug. Look at this. Whoa, whoa. Almost broke it. No, just kidding. All right. Wow. Man, this thing came out. This is nice. Look at this, folks. Ricky Bobby. That's right, Ricky Bobby. He is in the YouTube Cup now. Wow. If for those of you who do not know or do not recognize this, obviously this is a custom of Ricky Bobby's 26 Wonder Bread car. This custom was done by none other than Nero 62. Wow. Very cool. Let's see. Shake and Bake Race Team. This is part of the Shake and Bake Race Team. Nice. Very cool. Take a look at the bottom. Wow. So my guess is, I don't know if, uh, I don't think Nero, he did the, uh, I'm going on a limb here. I'm saying he did the modding as far as the body of the car. And I'm going to say that the 2000 Monte Carlo Hot Wheels, I think it's rubber tire too. And I'm thinking... 
Dirty Deeb did the interior because they added the weight. Distributed the weight in this thing. Very cool. All right. There you have it. So John Holman with the 41 of Donald Blake and the 77 of Buck Savage. And the, we see the return of the 580 car of Chapman Films, ILC, and Ricky Bobby in the 26 car. Sweet. Very cool. Man, you guys do a great job on these mods, man. Very cool. All right. These are great. These are all going to attempt to qualify at Martinsville and... And I'm going to be honest with you, if you guys have seen the Halloween race, that's Martinsville. Obviously not with all the Halloween decor, but if you have seen the Halloween race that I put on, that is Martinsville. That is the same thing, minus uh, <laughs> the lane merger and, and the Halloween how and all that stuff. It goes into the Daytona black track after the 3D bot maker uh, 180 turn. Uh, actually, let's go. Let's go look at it. Right here. Here it is. Be a little dark. Sorry about that. Still working on getting better lighting. But here it is. Obviously with the Martinsville decor. Provided by Mike James. And then right there, that's what everybody's fighting for. That trophy over there. By Michael's Diecast Garage and Racing. So that is Martinsville right there. And then here. Not what I intended to do. Good thing nothing was broke. Except for maybe the wind. All right. Now we got a box. To open up from the previously mentioned Michael's Diecast Garage and Racing. What's up, Riley Fuller? All right, so that is Martinsville. All right, let me open this. It'll be a lot easier. This is heavy. The Dago Bus System. What is this packing slip? I guess I better open that, right? And we will have, yes, he is. Ronnie McD, is he going to pull it out? Who's going to take it, guys? Who's going to take the YouTube Cup halfway through the season? Let's see. Let's open this up. Halfway there, looking forward to see what happens. Uh, I will be posting a video with the rules package for the YouTube Cup 2020 season as well as the truck season 2020 season which means yeah I have to have a 2019 season uh, remove trucks first then turn box over to get the rest all right all right so we got the we got the trucks Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Man, there's a lot more trucks in here than I thought. But it looks like we had some others come along for the ride. Now, remember, I said way back when, and I think it was last year <laughs> for the truck series, that any truck, any truck would do, just had to have a number. That'll change in 2020 when we get a little bit more serious with the truck series. But for now, any truck will do. And the rules package for the YouTube Cup will be coming out 
very soon. Let's take a look at this, guys. Miss Tinky in the number four. We'll start it off with that. Yes, sir, there is. Wow, look at this. This is a rig storm, I believe. Wow. I'm going to have to pop this down. <laughs> Pretty sick. Oh, my back. Man, that is cool. Two different sets of wheels. Got the ginormous wing back here. Very cool. Miss Tinky in the four. I'll put this back in the bag for now. These are always good to have right here. Okay, now we got uh, Tasman in the 13. Tasman in the 13. Be kicking off the second half of the season for the YouTube Cup here this week from Martinsville. Look at that. What's the name of this thing? I forget. Uh, rig Heat. Roll smooth. That's not saying what the heck is this? Is uh, I forget what I just say. I said the name of it. Rig Storm. Yep. Very cool. We have a uh, inaugural truck series will be shorter, and we'll extend it next year. And at this time, at this time, the plans are for a the YouTube Cup to be the mod series, and then do a stock series. Now that being said, you gotta, let's see who's this number seventeen. This is uh. Abigail Rose, 2025. <laughs> Keep in mind with the, the more the entries we. Ooh, look at this thing. This thing's pretty sick. Winter 2017, huh? Woo. Another good roller. A lot of weight. Very cool. Make sure I put these back so I don't put them in the wrong bags, but I think they're enabled by numbered anyway, so pretty much foolproof. But then again, it's me we're talking about here. All right, this is Amber Klignanton in the 66. She is uh, a contender in the YouTube Cup. Just missed out on making the All-Star Race. Uh, yes. This is, uh, what do you call it? MIG rig, MIG rig here, the 66 of Amber Klignatant, sits 11th in the YouTube Cup standings halfway through the year. She missed, like a lot of the, the drivers, the top drivers, missed the first race of the season. I don't think we'll have to worry about anybody missing it because the rule package and when to send in the cars uh, will be out within the next... Week two tops. This one is Alexander H. Whelan. See him also in the YouTube Cup in the top 10 in the points. Look at this. What is this? Hall. Hologram. <laughs> wow. Looks like a, it's almost like a mullet party in the front. Business in the back. Partying with this up in the front. Kind of looking like a helmet of sorts. And then kind of an IndyCar style in the back. I am not familiar with a lot of these new fantasy style castings. Let's put that one back in. That is Alexander H. Whalen, who has had a lot of success... Between him and Amber Klignatin, I believe brother-sister combo, they raced in the first race on the Sub 4 RA channel in the Indy 500, 2018 Indy 500. This is Trinity, number 333. They first raced on the 
Indy 500, and then now the YouTube Cup, and both have done well in the YouTube Cup. This is Trinity. This is... Tricera truck. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen this casting. Okay. <laughs> yep. Can't say it's not a truck, right? That is the only rules. Has to be a truck of sorts and has to have a number. That will change in 2020, but for now, we're going to roll with it literally. I expect all these from Michael's Diecast Garage and Racing to be fast. Hope to get some new faces in the YouTube Cup for 2020. Trying it out, hopefully. There'll be, uh, like I said, there'll be some changes coming here. Okay, we are to that. Okay, we got Red Pill Truck Team. We got three entries. These are all rig storms. Let's see, first one here, 99. This is Max K. Maxzilla here. What's going on? Hey, look. This bad boy. Look at this. Ricky Bobby coming to the YouTube Cup. All right, here's Max K's entry, the 99 for the Truck Series. Yes, that looks, looks good to go, man. Looks good. Be interesting to see how these do. Yeah, yeah, definitely looks familiar. That was sent in by Dirty Deeb. Now you didn't, you modded the car, but you didn't add any weight to that, did you? I think that was all Dirty Deeb. The two car, or the two car, the two truck. This is Chloe K. Very nice. Wheels of fire. So Max K's truck was fifty-seven grams. This one is fifty-four grams. Chloe K. You can all you can see all of them competing as well in the YouTube Cup, doing very well. What do I do with the bag? Oh, it's because it's combined on this one, dork. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did, but it will be attempting to qualify. Okay, here is the seven of Carly K. Dragon Claw. This one's Wheels of Fire, and the other one, Go Go Magzilla. So we got a lot of the rig store. Oh, look at that. Facebook's <laughs> nice. Very cool. Even though I don't like Facebook. That brings up a whole um, that brings up a whole new thing of you can expect to see changes for signing up for races and even uh, what's going on, Easy Dubs, even communicating with a lot of your diecast. YouTubers going forward probably to the first of the year it seems like so I'll be addressing that within the weeks to come but more truck entries hoping to get three maybe four races and hopefully a trip to race mountain for these trucks maybe the season finale and I'm gonna have to see if I have I might be cutting off the 2018 truck series Entries just to keep it keep it legit and a lot easier for me. Very cool. What's going on, Po' Boy Racing? So we saw John Holman, two entries for the YouTube Cup. These are Dave Akers custom builds. The 41 of Donald Blake, the 77 of Doc Savage. <laughs> a few a Mountain Dew years ago. 
Dirty Deeb has the 580 car from Slap Out, Oklahoma back in. ILC. I like cheese. And then the 26. is a heavy one with rubber tires, I believe. I think we got rubber tires on here. Ricky Bobby. Going to join the YouTube Cup. And then the... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six entries for Michael's Diecast Garage and Racing. In the truck series and three from red pill racing and then let's see what's in this i have an idea what this is special instructions for this where they go and then turn box over to get the rest all right so Yes, Trans Am Series is going to be fun. Turn the box over. All right. All right. Heads up, guys. Itches. Dude, Michael knows how to pack stuff. I don't know if he's like, uh... yeah, he did. He knows how to pack, let me tell you. All right, Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, we got a truck series. Ah, I need to jack this thing back up. Hold on. We got a truck series price pack here. Which, um, see, uh, uh, two, 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 two. Okay, let's take a look. These are donated by Michael's Diecast Garage and Racing for the Truck Series winner of 2019. No problem, pull boy. All right, here we go. Oh, this is sick. I obviously tell I haven't been hunting in a while. I haven't seen this this red one. 49 Volkswagen. This, this is G case. Am I that far out of it? That's pretty cool. Sales, service, fabrication. Tire shop. That's cool. So Michael Diecast Garage and Racing, that one. And then both of the T2 pickups. These are sick. Very cool. And then I have seen this one. This is the uh, blue one. Very cool. And then these are cool as well. Look at this. Pop culture. The Anglia panel truck. Snickers. You're not yourself when you're hungry. Very cool. Hey, that'd make a cool food cook, a food truck race in uh, 3D Bomb Makers channel. Smoke and Grill. Obviously replace the real writers, but is this, like, some of these, it's like, this is the only place you can get this casting from uh, Mattel Hot Wheels. Like the Dave Akers special, the Dodge A100. Look at this. Oh, man. I, uh, I saw one of these out in the wild. Oh, man, it's been a while now. Now that I think about it. Caballero. This is awesome. Ford Econoline pickup. 19 and the 60s, I should say. Look at that custom 62. Chevy Silverado. Awesome. So these go donated by Michael's Diecast Garage and Racing. Da -da 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 to the Truck Series Champion. Very cool. Thank you, Michael. And wait a minute. What do we got here? I know what this is. Whoa. We got a new stop box? A new catch box? Sure do. Look at this. Complete with stop bag. And this must go on the... 
the one I had just showed you guys. Wow. Let's see. Does that who does that go to? Not mine. Or does that go to very cool. Look at that. Very cool. Nice. Let's put this back in here. I'm gonna put these back in that sleeve. I just had them in. But I'm I'll have to do that off camera because maybe I can slip them in here. Very cool. All right. Yep. Got them in there. All right. So that's a cool catch box. Very cool. Got the cars back in there. And then also... In addition to those cars and maybe the catch box, we got... One other thing here, guys. This is awesome. Bam. Right here. Very cool. Drop it down. Move this box back. that back truck series trophy Woo he made one for the YouTube cup now he made one as well for the truck series look at that that was very cool very cool indeed yes they are sweet awesome that will go also to the Truck Series Champion. I'm going to want to put this back in that bubble wrap ASAP. Of it. Very cool. But going forward in 2020, we're going to go to the NASCAR style trucks like this or what even Lionel. Lionel, I think it has six Truck Series style, whatever they call it now, Camping World Truck Series. So we'll go to exclusively to this style. Um, Chevy has one. I does Ford make one? I'm not sure. Or there's also uh, the ones that Racing Champions made. <laughs> no, this is completely blank. I like that though. Already the smack talk, kind of like in uh, the Wolfram. I haven't seen them either. I mean, they're they're out there, and, but I have not seen. I've not been hunting in a long time. Been too busy trying to do all this other stuff. Very cool, guys. Very cool indeed. So four more cars going to attempt to qualify for Martinsville. Got the YouTube Cup going. We got the Truck Series going to start here. <laughs> No red pill is he's pretty scared right now of the wolf ram and what it could do. Six more races to go. Looking forward to it. So we got Martinsville, uh probably Bristol one more time. I'm gonna try to secure that track a little bit more. Or a little bit better. Uh we got Daytona one more time. We got the Devil's Backbone. Darlington, and if you saw, oh, what video did I post it on? Was it the All-Star Race? It's going to be a wild one to end the season. The, the At the U, Miami, Miami Orange at Homestead. It's going to be, it's going to be chaos. I mean, we might not even win her. There might just be, everybody might wreck. I don't know. But... <laughs> Should be should be a fun race. Looking forward to that. Gonna be wild, tell you that. So that should be the rest of the 2019 YouTube Cup. 
Yeah, they do. I assume they get they get uh, snatched up pretty quick, which is why you can still get these for the 2020 season. These are readily available, definitely on eBay, not too expensive. Um, yeah, so that's it. And then look for three, four races. It's going to be a little bit shorter truck season. And then next year, going to the YouTube Cup for the mods. And then right now, I would say it's about 90% sure of having a stock series. And then uh, truck series. Not sure yet how to. Depends on how much we get in, I guess. Um, as far as it's it's hard. You try to do qualifying, and I don't have a track timer, and to qualify over a hundred cars in one series, very difficult. So I cut back on a quite a few that just weren't <laughs> not competitive at all. Just kind of a slowing everything up. Uh, Martinsville, uh, then we'll probably go to, uh, I'm not sure. It'll either be, um, I, I try to coincide as best I can too with the NASCAR series, what they're racing. Unfortunately, I'm a week late on, cause that seems to help with views. Uh, unfortunately, uh, missed out on Martinsville this week, but I'm doing that one in the garage, and I have to run the lights, and Martinsville was just equipped, what was it, last year with lights, so that worked out good. Worked out good for me, because I'd be kind of a goofy to have a Martinsville night race, and there's no tracks at the, or no lights at the real Martinsville. Yep, so. And then, uh, if you haven't already, pick a Halloween car for the King of the Misfits NASCAR Halloween Edition. Should be a fun one. See if Daryl Waltrip can go down. I don't know. That Daryl Waltrip 17 car for stock is pretty fast. So we shall see. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for me. Uh, I hope to have, uh, obviously, the NASCAR uh, King of the Misfits one. Chevy Truck Series. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think it was. You're right. Uh, mailing address, yes. Uh, you know, I have it over here somewhere. Ugh. Where'd it go, guys? Where'd it go? Garage is my worst nightmare. I seem to have lost my paper I used for it. Let's see, my bill still. Here, we'll do this right here. Ugh. Right there. Rhino, P.O. Box 57976, Modesto, California, 95357. Oh, other than NASCAR races. A lot of King of the Misfits coming up. King of the Misfit NASCAR edition. Uh, we got, I got a, how do I put it? I have something coming up in uh, November. Uh, quarter mile stuff. Uh, we might not see quarter mile in a while. I don't know. It's just so much easier for me to set up the six lane in the garage and go to town on it rather than out in the driveway. I would say never say never, but oh wait, here's the packing slip right here. Hold on. Okay. Got to put this in. Oh, okay. No worries. I guess I got everything correct. I just didn't give the weight on the trucks for MDG Michael's Diecast Garage and Racing, um, but we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens with the quarter mile stuff. But have my hands full and definitely trying to go more towards where I get the views, and that's definitely 
the NASCAR stuff. So we'll see. We'll play by ear. What's up, Mr. Boo Man? All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you at the next one.